Hello there. Sorry about the uh, beeping. That's just my fire alarm that I've removed because it's usually right up there and I'm gonna be sorry. Um, it's gonna stop beeping in a while. Just a uh, video on this. Now that it's, uh, well I wouldn't call it done. There's just one thing need missing and that's a connector for up here. But uh, that's in the mail. I should have that Monday or Tuesday. So tomorrow or the day after. Um, but what is this? This is a um, solder fume extractor and I just tested it and it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, the solder fume extractor here is downloaded from Thingiverse. All of these parts here are from Thingiverse. I put this last one on uh, and designed it myself and that was because I noticed that the fan blowing air out this way meant that there was a lot of drag going uh, this way which meant all of the solder smoke got pulled underneath here as well instead of going up and in the filter. So I, I put this on and it changes the airflow to go upwards which shouldn't interfere with anything down here. Um, the special thing here is uh, this box right here that I made. It's a um, 12 volt power supply basically uh, with two lith with lithium batteries and a charging thing here in the back cover. It has, um, I have a shaky video on it where I've basically opened this and taken it apart. Uh, I'm apparently there's uh, that doesn't sound like an ambulance that sounds like a modified car horn that was a uh, police car what the fuck interesting uh, it wasn't a police car it was one of those big vans um, hmm oh well um, <laughs> sorry about that. That's very professional. Um, so yeah, this is just, uh, it has two of these, uh, 850 milliamp hour cells in there. And then it has a battery protection chip and it has a boost converter. And then, oh, and yeah, and the two cells in parallel, uh, because this is a single cell charger back here. So, uh, yeah. And then it has uh, this uh, to monitor the voltage, and that shows a bit high. So uh, I plan on charging this when this display reaches 3.3, which is a bit above 3 volts uh, on the cells. So uh, let's connect this up, and let's turn it on, and I'll show you what it does. Now the fan's running. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that, because I'm using a unidirectional mic. Um, but yeah, the fan's running. So let's say I was going to have this board here. I think why I just scratched there. Sorry about that. Let's zoom in on that. Oh wow, the white balance is pretty bad. It should be auto white balance. Can it not do that? I guess not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's better. Uh, so I have this right here. Let's bring in the helping hand and let's do worst case scenario where I'm soldering pretty much right down on the table Because that's where it's furthest away from the uh, Hold on. Let's uh, see. Nah, I don't need to put connectors on there or anything. Let's just solder So I have some tin here Now I'm kind of interested in whether or not you can see the smoke. Okay, you should zoom, I should zoom you out a bit and then up like that. Yeah. So there was a bit of whiff that went over here for some reason, but otherwise all of it pretty much went through there and I dropped my my tin. Grab some more. All right, so this seems to be working pretty well actually. Um, let's try something. This does work pretty well. There's a few widths that's, that escapes. So let's try and adjust this down like that. 
does mean I have to move my lighting a bit, but it does support that. Right, so now all of it is going up there. Okay, that's working above my expectations, actually. Um, wow. And normally I wouldn't be stuttering like that, because that's a bit uncomfortable. I would have it up here. And in that case, I think I'd be fine to swivel this back. Yeah, that works pretty well. Huh, nice. I might actually able to put my fire alarm back up. Uh, except it is sort of blowing straight up, but uh, I don't know. Whoops, that was a hot PCB down into PLA. I guess it's getting cooled now. Oh well, yeah, so uh, that's basically what it does. You can see it's slowly dropping on the cell voltage here. If you know the um, the curve for lithium cells, it'll drop fast down to around like mm, 3.8, 3 3.9 volts, and it'll be very slow from there on until you reach somewhere around 3.4 volts and it'll start plummeting. But yeah. So, um, right. It works. Um, it works pretty good as well. As I mentioned, uh, the last thing I need is I need to have a fan connector put on top here. That's why I have these, the holes where the cables coming out on are basically just going to have a header sort of onto it, like a, a proper fan connection. And then like I'm probably going to cut the wires here and solder them on and then just stuffed in and the uh, fan header glued on top. And they're going to be stuffed in as far as possible because that gives me more wire when I'm disassembling it. But uh, this works quite good actually. I'm um, very happy with that. Cool. Okay, it's sharing a bit lower now. But yeah, so um, I'm really happy with that. Nice. Thanks for watching and bye.